Yeah, we all forget it's Thursday, including me. Thursday, baby. Comes too fast. Through the week. <laughs> We're L. We're Ling. <laughs> I mean, I didn't fully forget, but I could have prepared a little more, maybe, but it's always fun. Should I play banjo during the... I should learn that. That'd be cool. Okay, I guess we can start. Let me try a little ditty. Let's see if we can make up a little ditty on banjo. I keep, I've snapped, I think, two or three strings so far, which isn't awesome. Whoa, what is that sound? Kind of like a llama. What's up? I did actually make a song. But I can't remember it right now. Yo, yo, yo. Play Free Bird, okay.
We're learning, we're learning, we'll get it. I am, I think I am gonna make a funny, uh, not funny, but I wanna make like a banjo album. Be cool. Freaky one. Whoa, what is that sound? We just got trucks driving by. All right. Well, let's hop in town. Let's see what all the hubbub is. What all the hubbub that we're hearing is. What is that hubbub? <clears throat> Y'all ever heard of hubbub? Ever tried it? Ever try hub? Hubba dub? Oh, Gabe. I finally have sticky keys off so I can do this as much as I want. I don't know why it's taken me <laughs> this long. I've had this computer probably like 10 years at least now. Pretty crazy for a piece to last that long, but why I'm still running Windows 7 on. HQ, I do need to work on, but it's not at the top of my list. We didn't really use the bottom floors anyway, but it'll be cool when it happens. Maybe we'll build it in some late nights. Ox toad. Damn y'all. Damn y'all. Ooh wee. Seems all is good. His dog won't look at me. I should go visit my dog. Do and do and doze and do. Do and doze and doze and do. Zip on zip on zip and no. Let me think. I have mostly been working on the housing stuff this week. We'll get to that, but we gotta go to the bulletin board. What's new? Quiet week. Um, working a lot of music. On taxes, which is not fun, but it, it's okay. We gotta do it. Adulting. Yeah, I'm up at back time. Knock knock. It would be cool if they added like a knock function. Like if you hit a door with your bare hand, it if it made a knock sound. Cool. <clears throat> I think so, but yeah, these black blocks are scaring me for Death City. Maybe it's normal. Okay, up at fact. <clears throat> Get it. Woo! The Muppet Rufus. Yo, Rufus fact is awesome. Built in 1963 to star in a TV show called The Land of Tinker D, but unfortunately the show was not picked up. Dang. In every appearance after this, he was performed by Frank Oz, that's cool, and did not speak. Rufus, the greatest Muppet of all time, can be seen in various movies and shows throughout the rest of the 20th century, such as The Muppets, Take Manhattan, and Sesame Street. Sadly, he has not appeared since Jim Henson's death, but his memory lives on through me specifically. Rufus is the best boy. That's true. Rufus is... I don't know, definitely goaded. Top tier. Top tier in Muppets. What's up, Elio? What the heck, dude? How's it hanging, Elio? Oh, today I went to corn my favorite restaurant, which I've talked about and we talked about on stream a little bit. 
one of my favorite restaurants. It's a New York deli, but it's in Portland. It's closing down, and today was their last day. It was supposed to be tomorrow, but tomorrow they're actually closed because they're going to have an employee party. And um, yeah, I can do the Muppet fact. You just missed it, Elio. I'll reread it for you. Um, yeah, so I kind of was procrastinating going, and then I realized that last night, I realized that today was going to be the last day. So Corey and I went, and we were literally... We got in line. There's like a massive line to get in. And like two people got in line behind us. And after that, the owner came out and he put a sign behind them saying that no more people could get in line. So we almost didn't get in, which is crazy. And I was like, the line was like too much. And I didn't really want to order food that bad. Um, I mostly just wanted to go inside and take some pictures and maybe get some memorabilia or something. Yeah, I don't know why they're closing because they're always busy. Like every time I've been there, they're busy. I think it's just hard to be a restaurant. The restaurant business is hard. I think that area, the rent is probably expensive because it's kind of a popular area right now. I don't know the owners, but it, it's been open for 31 years. Yeah, I wanted the mug. I have one mug. That's a Kornblatt's mug. So basically, yeah, we get there and we got in line just in time. And we literally waited in line probably 30 or 40 minutes, which is like, I didn't really want to wait that long, but you know, I kind of had to do it. It was like a pilgrimage. Um, and they wouldn't even let us inside for most of the time. Like there was a line inside and outside. And we were most of the time in the line outside just to get in. And you know, everyone's walking by and they're like, oh, what's this place? Why is it so popular? They just sell bagels and you know, we had to give people the spiel like this is their last day. It's a legendary spot. There's nothing like it in Portland. It's so sad, blah, blah, blah. But it was very fun. Um, it was a little crazy. I don't know. Like we did get a little anxious in the line just cause lines and everyone's like ah, inching forward. Um, but it was cool. Um, but yeah, it's not the same as it used to be because like, right. Since, ever since COVID, they have kind of changed how it runs. Like it used to be like a waiter would come to your table and you get the whole New York experience, but then they kind of had to change it to where you just order and then you kind of bust your own table and stuff. So the food and environment is still good, but it hasn't been quite the same in a couple of years anyways, but it's sad that it's leaving and a lot of other people are sad. Um, but yeah, we, we got in. But by the time we finally got in, I was kind of at, like, after waiting 30 minutes, I was like, maybe, maybe I'll just get in there and take some pictures because I don't want to wait another half hour. And we only paid for an hour of parking and it was going to run up, like maybe run out. But then, you know, we got inside and after they cut it off, there was only maybe like 10 people in front of us, which is like not horrible. And I think a lot of people, since they were starting to close, were starting to like, leave or just get more people were getting stuff to go instead of like trying to eat there i did work up a little bit of hunger um but yeah i started like looking around for things because it seems like since it was their last day we were going there in hopes of maybe getting some more of their mugs or some of their merch because they had shirts and stuff but by the time we got there there's like nothing left um and I saw they had some old menus on the side that are like, you know, have like the um, kind of like pleather laminated, like gatefold, like old fashioned menus. And, um, and like, they weren't really handing them out, but I just grabbed one and I went up and I, and I, all I ordered was two bagels and two pickles. And then I asked if I could buy, cause they didn't have, Usually they have like a merch section that has all the corn blocks mugs and there weren't any left, but I saw some in the back um, that were like stacked up by the espresso machine. So I asked if I could like buy the menu and buy some of the cups and they're like, oh no, you can't buy the cups. I yeah. heard you talking yeah, Corey, about it. Corey has them. Um, <laughs> they said you can't buy the cups. Like we actually had people like stealing them being rude. Well, the cups with the words on it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and they're like, we want to save those for um, all the employees to keep because everyone's been kind of stealing them and being rude. 
and they only had limited ones left. And I was like, oh, well, can I just buy one of these random, like they don't have the corn blocks logo, but it's just like a random diner mug. There's like a bunch of them. They're kind of old and ratty. And I was like, oh, I'll buy one of those. And the owner just kind of laughed at me and he was like, I guess. Like there's only a few people behind us. I thought that they would just give me the stuff for free. It was kind of funny that they still wanted me to pay, but it was okay. Um. I, yeah, yeah, I just wanted something to remember it. I was almost not even going to go to the restaurant. Um, but yeah, so I bought one of their menus. This is it. It's like, it's kind of funny. It has like a, a cool picture on the front. And there's like um, a glossary of deli terms on the back. And it's a little dirty. I probably have to, I probably have to um, disinfect it, to be honest. Oh, they charge me, I think $3 for... I think they charged me ten dollars total for the mug and the menu which is maybe high but i don't mind i just kind of wanted it i think they said i don't remember um but yeah i just kind of wanted something and so yeah i got that and i got my pickles and i got two they didn't they were pretty much out of most of the bagels but i got a plain bagel and i got a, a i a, I wasn't going to, but at the end I was like, oh, maybe I'm kind of in the mood for a cinnamon raisin bagel. So I got one of those too. Sometimes those are good with butter toasted. So yeah, that was my experience. It was cool. It was surreal. You know, took some pics. I might post some pics. I might do like a post of all my pics that I got. And yeah, that's the Corn Blots update. Um, here's a picture of, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but of like the the bagel that I was eating might be hard to see in the I heated it up in the oven but it was pretty good surprised they let you take the leather thing not not just the paper they gave you the whole thing yeah well I think they're go well they're like totally going out of business so they don't have any need for the menus at all I just offered to buy it because I didn't want to be like oh can I have this and I don't mind you know Gabe wants a bite. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fire. Yeah, the bagel was really good. It is sad. There are there are like other good bagel places, but why this place is so special is it's like it's like it's like a diner in that they have like a bunch of breakfast stuff, but they also have like a deli section of like everything that you could get in New York, like cannolis and all that kind of stuff. And like there's other places that specialize in some of that stuff like latkes or like deli stuff but it's like not the whole experience so it's like sad we had to find like our new diner place that was kind of our go-to diner style place that we would like to go to and you know they had like kind of seinfeldy stuff all over the wall and it's just fun <sighs> how to talk to short people but yeah that's the end of my corn blots thing it is sad but it's okay I guess we just have to go visit New York more often. I did get a little emotional but while ordering the stuff, actually. I was I didn't cry or anything, but I was like, yeah, it was sad. But, and the lady I was ordering from, she actually like started to cry a little bit after I bought the menu and stuff. And she was like, yeah, I have a friend who is like, has a collage of all the like restaurants who've gone out of business in Portland or whatever. And yeah, it's just, you know, it's sad. It's a hard, it's a tough business. But yeah, that's the end of the corn blots thing. Now I will reread real quick for Elio. Yeah, Lucy. I wonder if Lucy went. Lucy's been there too. What's up? Are you saying hi for Lucy, Spooky? But yeah, their bagels are really good. And um, I really like their locks and all their stuff. Okay, Muppet Fact, Part 2, Redux. The Muppet Rufus was built in 1963 to star in a TV show called The Land of Tinker D, but unfortunately the show was not picked up. In every appearance after this, he was performed by Frank Oz and did not speak. Rufus, the greatest Muppet of all time, can be seen in various movies and shows throughout the rest of the 20th century, such as The Muppets Take Manhattan and Sesame Street. Sadly, he has not appeared since Jim Henson's death, but has 
but his memory lives on through me specifically. Rufus is the best boy. That's all true. I want like a cool epic mural of Rufus, I feel like, in town. That'd be cool. <clears throat> <sighs> yeah, let me just fly around. Oh, I remember something else that I worked on, actually. Um, I'm still working on it, but I was thinking about this area. I'm redoing this area. So I added like a new pier kind of thing. So this is like a big pier. <laughs> Rufus Graffiti would be awesome, Spooky. You should. Um, so I added this big pier that leads up to Mango's minigame because I it kind of just was like a weird had a weird look to it how the kind of bridge was coming out here. Um So yeah, we have like this kind of pier. I might add to it little things. I was thinking of making like a big boat. Um, but I don't know if this is going to be my the official port. Mr. Poop said- or not Mr. Poop. Soiling said that they're working on like a pier um, for boats to go from Defa City to Frogville, but I'm not sure where I want the official port to be. I think it would be cool to have like a port shipyard area with like shipping containers and like big boats and stuff like that. Where, um, you know, boats could travel to from other countries. But I'm not really sure. I think initially I wanted it to be here. But there's not really room for, like, a big shipyard. So I was thinking it could be maybe, like, over here somewhere. Could I put my big boat there? Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, I just need to find a good spot. But yeah, that would be good. We can move some boats over there. Randall's here. What's up? Like, over here could work, but, like, it needs to be, like, an area that is accessible by water, but has lots of space for, like, to decorate for port stuff. Maybe over here? Ooh, you got the over, over the garden wall vinyl? Yeah, I have that. It's awesome. Did they repress it, or you got one of the original ones? I was also th I was also thinking maybe in South Frogville. Even fro. Wow, wow. They repressed it nice. I wonder how much. Yeah, I guess the originals are probably expensive. The blasting company. But yeah, that's the this is the boat that he's talking about. Um, but yeah, I was thinking it could go over on this side cuz it's like more accessible to poop ink. This is where the dump was gonna go. But it might be too close to where, because I think he wants the port. Soiling wants the port to be here. Um, which I noticed that, like, some of the. I don't know if I would call it the spread, but Def City's land has, like, gone into this area. So I had to, like, put down some. I was planning on using some of this land, but. Maybe we will have to sit down with soiling to figure out. But I think this area, I'm, you know, I'm open to letting this main area go to soiling for the port. But I just want, like, most of this grassland area, especially the dump, to be Frogville territory. But yeah, I guess you could put a port maybe over here. Who took a whole nether portal? What do you mean? What do you mean, took? One in the end? Um, like who built it or who, what do you mean who took, took it? Oh, this is new. Oh, that's funny. There's this like small spot of unclaimed land that someone's building on. SK Corp.
They took it like they broke it? Was there a portal here? Maybe, I don't know. Says that I broke it. <laughs> um, I don't know. It could be like there's another th another portal in this area. I think there's like another portal in this area that I was like interrupting or something. Let me look. That would be the only reason I would break one, or maybe I accidentally broke it. Where does it go? Oh, it goes to the end. I think maybe because I wanted it to go to the top. Yeah. I think I broke it because it should go up here, because that's better to f travel to the end than through the nether. Yeah. Is that okay, Gabe? It's faster to go through the top nether place than through down here. That's why you broke it so that you can use the top one. Because otherwise it takes you, instead of taking you to the top, it always takes you here. Yeah, because that's like faster, I think, to get here. Because you just follow these shroom lights. But there's also an even faster way to get to the portal now, water tower. This is a funny puppy. enough space <clears throat> but yeah the the fastest way what should I have for dinner what do you have oh they do the music for over the arm um this is the secret fast way to the end you didn't know Gabe And then, okay, so, yeah, the port I built, what am I me asking, do you have a type of schedule for when you work on music, or do you just make stuff when it comes? Um, I think usually, typically, I don't have a schedule, but I've been trying to, like, this year especially, I've been trying to, like, force myself to have some kind of schedule of, like, working on music stuff every day. Like I've been tracking with, I've been making these like worksheet things of like each day. So I'm trying to trick myself into working on music more. I try to work on music every day, but just like tracking it and writing it down has been kind of helpful to me to like get in the habit of like at least doing something every day that's like music related. So I'll like write down anything that I did that day related to music even if it's just like mixing or just recording a quick little thing the first week of january every single day that month i recorded like a completely new song from scratch not always like a full with vocals and everything but i tried to at least record a new like from the beginning new project each day but that became kind of like it was fun but it was a little overwhelming. I don't think I could do that all year. So I've been like each month kind of tweaking my system. But before this year, yeah, I would kind of just work on whatever I feel like. And then just like later kind of think about, you know, whatever sticks, whatever songs I think about more and I want to keep working on. Um, I'm kind of lucky that, you know, I can kind of record whatever I want and then I could be like... I don't know exactly what to do with this, but it kind of could make a cool Fox Academy track. So I'll just like 
send it to Christian in case he wants to write to it. Or sometimes it'll be like, oh, this is cool. This is like a Richie Woods thing, or it could maybe be a Beagles thing. But yeah, every day definitely burns me out, but I do think working on something music related is good every day. So I've been trying to get in that habit to where it doesn't feel as like crazy. And it was fun. I definitely got more done than I thought I would have been able to, but I kind of just lose track. I'm like recording so much new stuff that I kind of like lose track on what I did unless I'm like constantly going back and listening to what I did that week, which I kind of tried to do that too. I'm trying to find like a good balance between the two of like not burning myself out, but still like, you know, just, I feel like I'm, I have pretty full free time. The stream is lagging or in game is lagging or, or Randall is. Are you working on new Beagle stuff? Um, well, I have, I have like the songs figured out and like mostly written and like the concepts, but I haven't like Beagles. What I usually do is I kind of just save up some ideas for like a year and then I'll like do the whole album in a week is how I've done most of the albums is like, I kind of record it all at once when I'm like really in the mood. Um, and I've just been really hyper focused on like the new Fox Academy albums that we're working on right now is like my main focus, but I do work on it, but I just need to like, I think once I get the Fox Academy, this Fox Academy project out, I'll just have to set a week aside to finish the Beagle stuff, but I think it'll come out pretty quick. I thought you might have just been done with Beagles. No, yeah, it's kind of like Beagles is not done. It's just like whenever those songs are like hyper, like personal and like literal how I write them. Um, and it's a little more like a diary to me. So I kind of like just make those albums like when I feel like I have something to say, you know, or something. So I definitely like have all the concepts figured out and it's an easy enough project to do because all the albums are only eight songs. Um, but I definitely will. And I have maybe, I told myself I was going to cut myself off of making new projects, but I've been doing these really weird, like, uh, banjo songs and I might make a new project just for fun. Um, or I might release it as beagles, but it sounds like weird and different enough that it could be cool just to put out as its own thing. Everyone's talking about like you're over. That you never know because I was sad. Hmm. Well, I mean, like, oh, hello. I probably would never make oh, hello stuff again. But Beagles kind of replace oh, hello. Yeah, I don't think I have any plan to stop making Beagles albums. Beagles is like its own thing. Um, separate from like the Richie Wood stuff. I think it's very different. Eight night, oh yeah. Look like an ant. But yeah, I can't part of me is like I I don't need to release stuff under different projects, but sometimes it's just fun, you know, and I, I do like to like just throw a project out there and let people experience it without um full context right away of like, oh this is the guy from Fox Academy. And it's like cool if they discover it late, like later. But it's like, I don't know, it's just more magical, maybe. I feel like Fox Academy stuff is so out there. Is there any big inspirations for the sound for you and Christian? Yeah, I think we just kind of chase whatever is uh, kind of uh, strange and mystical to us, you know? Um. But the nice thing about Fox Academy is like more than any of my projects, it could be like, it is like the most lenient in, as far as like genre. Like we could kind of tackle any sound that we want because that's kind of like what we've always done. But that doesn't mean that any sound like fits what we're inspired by at the time. So it's like, if I hear a track, I can kind of tell, even if it's a weird different thing, I can tell if it like, 
feels like a Fox Academy thing or not, you know. But yeah, definitely our new album is all uh, inspired by a certain thing. Basically, the quick, without spoiling it, the new album is like, the inspiration was, we we went a while without really hanging out or recording it at all. And then, randomly after a few months, we just like, decided to hang out in like a new town that we'd never been in. And we spent the whole day, we each filmed it, we each have a camera, and um, we made like this short film that we didn't really have any idea of what we were going to do. We just like filmed the whole day of us hanging out, walking around this town. And that at the end of the day, we stumbled upon this weird um, business or restaurant. And we never went inside, but it, it just made us feel like we arrived at this weird, this inspiring, like kind of dark place it was in a cool way. It was like in the middle of the night. And we're like, what if we just named our album after this place? And that's what we did. And then we made an album that just kind of like matched that feeling of like stumbling upon something like strange in the night. But that's like, uh, it's dark, but it has like a sweetness to it, you know? So that's kind of the concept of the new album that we're about to put out. Then we have like an EP that's like just kind of jam summer jammers, just fun, dancey jammers. And then we have a new era that is like our main focus as far as recording right now. That is all like new tape stuff. But I won't spoil that too much. Got a lot of tape stuff on the way. Call oh, Subway. You guys have evolved, mastered your own feel. Yeah, I think we're trying to always push it. And just chase what is interesting, but like stay true to like what makes the project special, you know? And it's cool because I think each of our albums, like, offer something different, you know? I think in some ways, like, Angel Hair is, like, could be considered, like, our best album in that it's, like, more focused on, like, bangers only. The concept of that album was to be, like, only singles, like, each song could stand on its own. Um, but it's, like, kind of longer... But it is like a pop album. We literally are eating McDonald's on the front. McDonald's is up. Um, <laughs> um, but then, you know, I think each album offers something for different people, but, or maybe for, if you're like us, for everyone. Cool. Okay, so let me, sorry, I keep getting distracted by these questions. I enjoy the question. So. Um, so my main focus this week was to work on Luxury beverage was your favorite? My favorite? Oh, fan favorite. No, I, yeah, I think luxury beverage is definitely the fan favorite. I'm just talking, I'm not talking even about favorite. I'm just saying if you're just talking about like, I think favorite is maybe different than best, but there is an argument for luxury beverage being your best, but I think there's a, maybe an argument for any of the albums being our best. In some way but yeah I don't necessarily think favorite and best is the same I just mean that like angel hair was, had like uh, maybe the most main like the most wide appeal where like the most wide range of people could like that one because there's like a, I don't know if that's true I definitely sink. I, I sink. Okay, so this. I might open it up slightly today. My plan was to try to get the the housing system set up by today. Um, I don't know if I'll have it automated by today, but I was thinking I might. If anyone who is in game right now is able to pay at some point, can claim one of these houses if you want to live in them. I probably will charge like 50 diamonds. Um, I think I want to claim this one, this yellow one, but anyone other than this, I still have to like uh, clean some of them up. But basically, the system will be you will come up here and you can see like what is on the market to buy. 
and then you can buy the house from here and then you have the deed um but yeah I d i'll show you what i did i kind of decorated them Well, the cool thing about St. Molly is there's like, I agree that it's probably the most unique and interesting album, but it like, I don't think it, it doesn't really have any songs that are like, I don't know. They're not hook heavy and they're, I think they're memorable, but it's like as a project, it's very memorable, but it's like, it's pro it could be our most cohesive. I don't know. Cause we were like living together while we made that. Yeah, I'll show you a couple of the houses, how I decorated them. Uh, most of the small ones are done. I just have to finish the large ones and I've been cleaning up the yard a bit. Um, but yeah, this is Frogland Heights is the name of the suburb. And basically you could live here. Um, like the billboards, I was thinking of like renting out small spaces on this wall. For like mini billboards could be cool. Harry Coke as a standalone. That's true. Yeah, that was always my favorite too. Picking a favorite album is impossible. Well, that's good. That means we did our job. That's what I mean. I think they each offer a different thing. I'm proud of that. You know, like no two are like like super similar. If you like listen. Streaming something you're starting, or have I been missing this? Uh, I've been streaming maybe since 2020. They're not super recent, but I basically I have this server where we build stuff and we make music and uh, build stuff, and it's a weird, crazy world we built together. This is just a server that I run. Um, and uh, each Thursday I just pop in to see what's new in town. But it's cool. We we do like art galleries and uh, we make music in the game and it's just fun to hang out. You ought to come to late night. Yeah, but late nights are epic. We do... Usually on the weekends we'll do... I do basement streams where we watch like weird VHS movies that I find. Or we'll uh, play some like PS1 games and 64 games, stuff like that. And there's just like a lot of inside jokes and funny. Sometimes we'll order Subway, try to make, invent a funny food. Pretty fun. <sighs> so yeah, that, sorry, I keep getting distracted, but I'll give a quick tour of a couple of these houses. So each one has this number so frogville heights one two three four six it starts at one two three four five which is the orange house behind this they each have a working garage um i want to keep them like pretty blank but have like some stuff and then you can kind of do with it what you want so you could like decorate the yard however you want you can um change the color of it stuff like that Ooh, puddle ducks is a good one Man, I'm so glad I came across your post about streaming. That sounds Yeah, definitely. If you just like follow me on Twitter or on Twitch or like um, follow the Discord, it's probably the best way to uh, either of those three is the only place I usually like promote my that I'm streaming. I don't heavily promote it. I kind of just am like, oh, we're streaming. Hang out if you want. Um. But yeah, so you walk in, and I did add a kitchen to each one, but then I left the rooms blank. So there's kind of a kitchen, you can change it if you want, and a little dining area, and then I did all the lighting. So how it's kind of laid out is you, there's like a kitchen, and then here's like one room you could do with you, like whatever you want with it. You could make it a bathroom, or you could make it a guest room, or an office. And then you go in here. This I think of as like the laundry room. And then this would go into like the garage, which, you know, put your horse or whatever you want in here. And the garage opens from the outside and the inside. You're scary, guys. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of weird, strange noises. Um. 
And then, yeah, there's just different rooms up here that are pretty blank for you to do whatever you want. I didn't want to, like, make a bathroom and then you're forced to uh, have that be your bathroom. So this is actually one of the smaller houses. And there are all the small houses are the same layout and all the big houses are the same. There's quite a lot of rooms. And uh, how I think it's going to run is if you're a citizen of Frogville, you can have up to one house in each kind of a oh, pilgrim anime that's cool oh they're making it i wonder who is uh producing it and then yeah this will be a billboard here and this is something i just started building today and it will, it's an idea i had that like it doesn't just apply to the suburbs, but if you have anything like a house that you want like me to do a paint job for you, you can kind of apply. What the heck? Handsome fella, 69 viewers. Kind of crazy. That's an insane number of viewers. What's up? We're just in Frogville. Right now. What the heck? get raided appreciate it what's up guys what's up that's a lot of guys exactly six nine guys i know we're all scared what's happening my whole town is raided what's up guys this is a paint shop so it's called lnp it's named after late night paint so if you have like a house then i will world edit paint your house so so look at this orange this orange ass house for a very small fee i will change the entire color of your house whatever you want within reason the film aesthetic yeah we got a we got a camcorder this is an actual camcorder that's why we got a very strange how small of a fee i don't know yet maybe 10 10 diamonds or something nothing crazy just enough for my time this is the most amount of streamers ever Maybe. No slayful. Yeah, this is this is the little suburb. Well, welcome guys. This is I have a little server called Frogville. I'll give you guys the quick tour. We must do it. Thanks for the what the follow. Dagger Dop. When he ate a what's up? <laughs> okay, so this is Frogville. This is Frog HQ. Under construction. But you walk right in. You say hello. If you're new, you get the handbook, you get a bologna sandwich. Tastes pretty good. Chomp up that bologna. Um, I put free stuff in here sometimes. You can say, if you get one of my heads, then you can uh, sell it to the fox toad here. You can sleep in one of these beds on the house, in the house, whatever you need to do. Okay, and then this is Frogville. So you got Target right here. You got McDonald's. You got 7-Eleven. You got Starbucks. You got Poop Inc., which is this very large tower created by the legendary Mr. Poop. Rest in peace. Um, you got the impromptu dance floor here where we do fun uh, shows. We got comedy club lol where we do comedy nights nothing wrong with that as far as i can tell <laughs> oh where'd he go he passed away very sad um but soiling is his descendant who is taking care of his town deficity for him um you can buy some discs at the red box here um what else yeah, and this is the shopping district if you want to shop we use um we use raw ores for currency someone's got to write the history books we'll go into poop ink real quick if you want some you can buy some dirt from mr poops poop ink he's a very he was a very serious businessman <clears throat> daddy bong legs go jazz ray oh i'm indigo an official Unofficial candy. 
I like these names. You guys are kind of crushing name style. Yeah, there's a lot of poop lore. This is Town Hall where we meet each and every day. Spooky Chameleon who's on right now is the mayor. We come here and we talk about what's new. We read facts about Muppets each week. Um, these are like the new businesses that are open in town. A lot to take in, but um, we do have a whole museum that has all the history of Frogville. It's a very secret little town. And then, yeah, this is... Here's Spooky's house with Kermit with the banjo. Um, yeah, this is the main part of town. There's Denny's, there's all kinds of things. There's our flag. Um, oh, we have a frog needle, which is like the space needle, but it's a frog. You can go up there and see the whole town. I mean, why not see the town? I won't stop you. Um, nothing wrong with that. That you only. <sighs> yeah this is where we live we got the cinema we got the courthouse where we handle crimes we do frog and order where we got all the crimes we have to figure out we can watch movies and drink kilk you must drink kilk so kilk is coke and milk and it basically when you drink it it separates and sand goes to the bottom and you have to eat the sand because it's uh excellent for your skin uh, we have movies playing in in the theater. Oh no, the, is it gone? <gasps> oh no, the movie is off. Someone stole the movie. That's so sad. Well, usually there's a massive movie up here. Maybe I can place it. What is it called? Marry me? Let's see what happens. Wait, no, it has to be the hoe. I got a wood hoe. That gonna work? Try again, mister. Another entity. Hang tight, hang tight. Oh my good lord. I promise it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. I promise. Oh. Hmm, there's some entity in the way that we can't see. There are maps here. Well, maybe it's just invisible. Anyways, that's okay. You don't need to know. <sighs> Poop my pants if I drink kilk. That is one of the unneeded uh, side effects, but it is... I think it, the benefits outweigh the cons. I you drink the sand, it's great for your skin, it's great for your health, great for your wealth. I'm here, what's up? I don't see anything. Am I blind to the image? Look from this angle. Not working for me. It's broke. Well, TBA will have many movies in the cinema very soon. <clears throat> Michael, please do not tell young impressionable views to eat sand. No, I'm not saying to eat regular sand, just uh, the kilk sand only. Here, I'll show you. We do serve kilk at the subway, in the subway system. Let me show you real quick. Ay, 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 ay. Sand and rocks could not ever be bad. Um, if it's in a controlled environment. Maybe. Oh yeah, speaking of kilk, there are kilk tags around the town. Let's go to the subway real quick. It's in the subway system as well. Subway shopping center. Well, here we are in the subway. And there's a subway in the subway. Who knew? I didn't know. Okay. Let me show you guys this real quick just so you're up to speed. When you walk in, you might get overwhelmed. This is what Kilk actually looks like. This is the original Kilk. As you can see, this is the sand at the bottom. Um... It used to be brown, and then it gets clear, and then it turns into sand at the bottom. <clears throat> Who's here from the raid? We got several raiders within the raid. 
And I quite like that. Yeah, don't 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 be afraid to say hi, you might like it. Um, so yeah, you come in, here's lots of things to come up on the wall. Sunday special, don't forget Kilk. These are actually sandwiches that we ate all together on stream on Subway Sunday. Please form an orderly line or no Kilk for you, that's true. The ovens are for display only, the bread is raw, that's just a quick disclaimer. Um, ovens, please do not touch our employees, make sure not to touch them, they don't like to be touched. We have all these different types of sub sandwiches you could eat. Um, ask your sandwich wild style and they'll add kilk dressing, so that's good. You can get kilk dressing. Uh, once you have finished your kilk, please leave the restaurant. Yeah, so we can't condone the type of behavior that happens after you drink the kilk. So once you drink the kilk and it's in your system, we just ask that you leave the restaurant right away. What would happen if you touch the worker? We just ask that you don't. Um, we're not going to make a threat of what would happen to you if you do, but we just please ask that you don't touch the workers. Um, once, yeah, 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 we said that. Um, please don't ask about the chili. So we do serve chili, but just don't ask about it. It is funky. It is a funky chili. We also have a chocolate chip pickle cookie, which is a chocolate chip cookie with pickles in it. Um, this is the very small convenient convenient restaurant restroom restaurant restroom does kilk it cures all your ailments yes we only serve kilk no kilk sand in the trash cans drink it so that's the main thing is if you order a kilk um the sand clogs up our trash containment system and we just you need to drink the kilk before you can leave the restaurant the the sand that is um yeah that's all you need to know don't forget to drink the kilk um, please no hiding in the trash cans. That's also been a big problem that we've had. Um, try not to hide in the trash. What would happen if put kilk sand in the trash? Uh, again, I can't say for sure, but it, it has been an issue. I personally don't work at the subway. I'm just trying to give you guys, you know, the tour. These are the workers that I don't touch. None of us touch them. We try not to touch any of the workers, but Danny DeVito is here. This is actually a Jersey Mike's ad, but we did need Danny in the restaurant. So there's Danny. This is what it looks like to eat Subway sandwich. And you could tell he just had some kilk right before this. It's a kilk ad. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> so that's the quick rundown. The basic rundown of Frogville, I think. Um, there is much more to learn, but... Frogville is a wild and fun place where we like to relax and have fun and drink kilk. Um, there's an Ikea. Oh, I could show you my apartment. I have a small apartment. I used to be the mayor, but then I died. So Spooky became the mayor, and then... But I got revived, but, you know... I can't exactly take Spooky's job. So now I'm unemployed in my own town. So this is my new dog Rufus, um, this is my small apartment, it's pretty nice. Um, this is my wife's artwork, it's pretty cool, and this is my little, uh, my little kitchen. I, di I didn't have t uh, enough space for a restroom, so that's why I have this pea spot outside right here that my dog and I use. We need to use the restroom. Um, this is my, this is where I make music and hot beats on my laptop here. And this is my Fender amp from the Guitar Center. We do have a Guitar Center if you need to shred. Not talking lettuce. How long did this take? Pea spot is overflowing. Well, we try to contain the pee. Um, speaking of pee, this is this Towers, I don't mean to curse, but that's just the name, their copyrighted name for the, um, for their business. This is, it's under construction, but I think they're, you know, trying to compete with Poop Inc. But uh, Gabe Inc. has been building this for a while. It's a casino and hotel luxury suite. But yeah, um, Frogville has been around about a year. 
little over a year. Not that long. Um, I'll show you Guitar Center. Let's say you want to shred and make some music. We do make music in town for albums that are not out yet. So this is a Guitar Center. You can come in. These guitars are one of a kind. Uh, three of them have sold, but if you want to buy one of these guitars, they're one of one. Have it on your wall. But we have a limited stock of everything else. You do your DJ sesh. I won't stop you. <clears throat> yeah, we have lots of apartments and housing. Some apartments are already open. And then yeah, you can play some drums. Here, let me show you how to drum real quick. You didn't know already. Right. Yeah, there's a little drum kit. You can buy a drum kit from the sales associate. I don't know about their policy on touching at this establishment, but you can um, you can buy a drum kit. It comes with everything you need to make this little kit here. I think most employees don't want to be touched, but I think especially the subway. Yeah, so we play music. Um, the main place we play music is at the Fox Academy of Music, which is next door. Uh, we got a Best Buy, which is open soon. This is where we make music. Got to make the hot beats for town. <sighs> and I don't know, that's pretty much... Definitely not it, I would say, but there's a lot to learn. Oh yeah, the museum. We could show off the museum real quick. Yeah, we gotta show the museum. This is Old Town. This is where the bank is. Um, if you do come into town, you would want... The best way to make money in town is you can uh, trade your ores for diamonds or vice versa. I think most shops use raw gold or diamond. And yeah, you can convert all your currencies here at the bank. Um, I'm going to probably add, we have, this is the main island is Frogville, but there's like extra islands to each direction that are like their own kind of sub town. Oh yeah, that's Faso. We went to the moon earlier this year. Or late last year. Anyways, museum, right? Spooky is awesome. That was Elio. That's like a duo that can't be beat. So this is the... Insanely epic. Probably the best ever to be created in Minecraft Museum, to be honest. How do you long legs with I like that. I like that bit. Where'd you get that bit? Thanks for sharing. Uh, so you walk in. There is a lot to learn in the museum. It can be broken down by, like, there's an art section, which shows, like, all the art in Minecraft and other art stuff like that. There's, like, a dinosaur section that shows all of the skeletons of uh, dinosaurs. The epic. Bought it with money. Oh, my gosh. They let you do that on here? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You did not have to give me your hard-earned cash, but I will take any small or large amount. Um... So yeah, it's kind of broken in. There's some general history, but the main epic thing is that we have documented all the events in history of the server. Overwhelming need to document. Honestly, there would be no Frogville without, without this. Yeah, I really think that. This, this is part of what creates it and makes it awesome. So this is like the first booth of history. This is the creation of frog hq and you can follow all of these and it gives you all the history of the server which is pretty epic these are like the other towns in frogville so there's other people who have made their own towns and they have their own flags um and they have some of them have their own separate museums in their cities but um over here we have the hall of players where each player who's in town can have their own like little display case showing off their character which is cool um and this is like all of the stream events we did so sometimes we'll do like a stream event where there'll be some kind of like challenge that we all have to do as a group like one we did is like there's a big shipwreck and there's some goals that we have to do um during the stream, you know, like rebuild the ship, stuff like that. It's kind of fun. 
We haven't done one of those in a little bit. We definitely got to do one. They're fun. Um, or we'll do like scavenger hunts, like parkour challenges. Sometimes they'll be a little bit lore related. Sometimes not. Easter hunt. Easter egg hunt. Ooh. Easter egg hunt is coming up. We're starting to get overlapping um, events, which is kind of cool. Um, we did a haunted like hotel stream that was like a murder mystery. That was pretty cool. And then, yeah, even other than events, though, there's like certain histories like of what happens in town, like crimes that happen or things that happen to characters who get murdered or anything like that. It's all in here. Spread. And to be continued, of course. Let me restart my music. <clears throat> but yeah, it's very awesome. And there's like, you could really spend a whole day in here just learning about Frogville and what happened before. You didn't even have to be there. Um, we even have people in town that have been making like a documentary on it. But yeah, we're small, but we, we're dedicated. Like it. But if you are interested and you would like to join and you are chill and you want to have fun, um, there's a sneaky little link in the Discord. Frogville server. Find it. If you are interested. Otherwise, yeah, you could just watch. Just all have fun. A little link. Yeah. Oh, and this is Toad Town, which is uh, another town. It's like Frogville, but much more evil and scary and this is like the only town so far that pvp is always allowed frogville we don't allow any pvp or griefing or anything like that but this is kind of no man's land a little bit so if you're here sometimes there's treasure to be found but there's also these toad town guys that will attack you but sometimes they have cool loot um and yeah, no one officially lives here full time. I've thought about it, but cool. It's kind of small, but it's extended into the nether a little bit. And there's like uh, stuff to explore. I definitely want to expand on it, but it's cool. It's called Toad Town. It's evil. There's like a little evil um, saloon here where you can buy toad spit, which uh, is just fire resistant. But that's a pretty good deal. There, because they're probably gonna get caught on fire in Toad Town. Yeah, you got evil, a lot of evil birds here. It's not a fun place to hang out. Um, also, I think it's the only place where there's netherite shop. You have to get in there without getting killed, but it is nice. These guards will try to get you. Oh, and we have sports, and this is like the sports district. The first game that I invented was Frogger Ball. I think other people have done sort of similar versions, but I didn't know about them. So Frogger Ball is basically soccer with a chicken. We have knockback sticks and we try to knock the chicken into the goals. And we call it Frogger Ball. It's pretty fun. It's, this is my first stadium, but we have another alternate stadium. And then we have bowling, which we play with boats on ice, which is pretty fun. You smack boats and you try to hit the lily pads, which are the pins. Leaping lanes. Frog build, frog build but evil. Frog build but evil. Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. Up in hoops where basketball is a little harder to do. So I made it more of a mini game thing where you like have to try to throw these uh, basketballs into these hoops. We haven't played that in a while, I know. We gotta have just like a sports stream. Those would be fun. And we have like lots of money from people's payments from the billboards and stuff. And then Gabe built like a bigger, I'm reading my mind, a bigger Frogville, uh, Frogger Ball, Frogger Ball Stadium. This is like a, a bigger one. We need a big crowd for it. But yeah, this is a Frogger Ball. Looks very much like a chicken, but slightly different DNA. And you know, when you win, you get fireworks. How? If you get a point, you get a firework. Pretty good. Yeah, Frogger Ball is fun. 
Um, yeah, we also did an ice version, which I don't know if we've tried yet, actually. We have an ice version of Frogger Ball. And then we have Spooky Ball, which is like Frogger Ball, but where we just hit Spooky around instead of Frogger Ball. So this is Spooky Ball. And we just smack Spooky around the field and try to get goals. That's pretty fun, too. <sighs> yeah, and then soon there's going to be Underwater Town. Ride? Stab. Epic name. What's up? Thanks for the follow. Thank you for watching. This is the zoo. Um, this blank space used to have Krusty Krab, but then we recently moved it underwater because I think I'm going to make an underwater town. Would be kind of cool. We got a Krusty Krab. We got Sponge Gorb. I love a follow also. Follow me anywhere. Most places. Uh-oh. Most places are good to follow. Maybe not the bathroom. <clears throat> Nikki Link. Um, everyone's off the clock right now in here. Usually there's a squid man here. Just a crab. But they're not. They're off the clock. That'll be coming soon. <sighs> I don't know. Vogueville is epic. We have Walmart. We got the mall. Love I made the mall. Pretty cool. We're working on a record store that'll have... Um, we have like custom discs that we're working on. Where you can buy Fox Academy music in here. Album art. Kind of cool. That was so cool. Yeah, I like hanging out in here. I think that some things are still being worked on. But all is I want the mall to be finished so we can all just like hang out at the mall. Have a mall stream. Oh yeah, Lovi made this new ATM system too. Where if you get really rich you can buy like checks that are worth like even more money. So instead of just diamonds you can have checks. Cool. Fun fact. First stream, someone almost took the streamers to. The yeah, that's true. We did it. We done did it. <clears throat> penguin. A penguin. So, yeah, I guess I've been talking a lot. I didn't expect to get that raid. If you're still here from the raid, thanks for hanging out. I do a Frogville stream every Thursday, and I do uh, streams on the weekend. Yeah, we gotta have a comedy night. We should do a late night Frogville for comedy night. I would make a fun Subway Sunday. Yeah, maybe we should do a Subway Sunday in April. With comedy night. I gotta write some jokes. <sighs> sneaky little link. Sneaky little link. Um, and yeah, sometimes we play games. We usually play games on stream, too. Late Night Comedy Night would be hype. Um, we like to play hide and seek in town, because there's lots of places to hide. It's always fun. Yo, yo. Angry pierogi, yo. What about pierogies? Make me want to eat a pierogi right now. Sounds so good. And seek is. Especially the more that's been getting added to town, it makes it more. I've been like trying to build things that would make hide and seek spots. Hiding spots, I guess. Oh, or we play. Yeah, we could play and go see. Where's Lova, I wonder? Um, anyone who's still here that's new, I'll show you. If you heard me talk about Mr. Poop earlier, who had the big poop ink tower, and you're like, wow, that's big. Someone took a lot of time with that. Well, you haven't seen anything yet because this is his whole city, which takes it to a whole another level. And we miss him dearly. But yeah, he did all this by himself. And this is what he looked like. The legend. Yeah, this is, it's called Deaf City. It was Mr. Poop's town. It's still alive and kicking. Um, I think Soiling said the dome is going to open soon. Which I'm so excited for the dome. 
the dome. Um, we play like big, like death matches of laser tag. It's kind of like a big Halo map. Really excited for the. To go for some new. Ah, <sighs> pierogies and borscht. Borscht. We don't blow it up. We don't blow it up. Loose clues balloon. Oh, blow up a balloon. Thought oh, we were talking. What should I eat for dinner? What do you have? You got nuggets? What do you got in your freezer? I I also don't fully know really what you eat on a given day, Leo. I kind of just imagine that you eat um, cream cheese and popcorn for every meal. I know that can't be true. I got this map. Oh, one left the map. Was it you? I thought you left one. I wonder if I looked at this map. <laughs> it's from Gossip Girl. Who would do this? <laughs> they put this in his grip. I guess it's not. It is sad. It's funny. Actually, never. I saw the map, but I never looked at it. Rarely have popcorn. No, I know that. But that's the only thing I, like, associate with you food-wise. <clears throat> Seafood. Seafood is bomb. I made, oh, I made some really good clam chowder last night. That was good. Um, I have some, play one or two or three or four or five. Okay, that's the exact amount of time that we have. My favorite soup. Oh yeah, it was really good. And then yeah, I have some, I have some salmon I was going to make tonight probably. And the other night we had oysters. I don't know. Those are pretty polarizing sometimes, but me and Corey love oysters. Kind of crazy. We're crazy. It might be AFK. Gabe is a busy man. Doing some farming. I come over. Might I don't know if you can get here in time. Hypothetically, though. Leo's game. The game. Game. The it might be AFK. <clears throat> so we're gonna end the stream with a little bit of hide and go seek. It'll be some fun. It'll be some fun. Drink that kilk. Another radar matching outfits. Oh yeah. I have a hat on. We got matching fits. So Spooky is super into Muppets, so they wanted to have a Bert and Ernie style Joe going. So I'm I'm Bert, right? This is I got the Bert fit. But pretty sure I'm Birded. Make a hat. Does Bert have a hat? We'll cover your eyes. Yeah, I'll wear a hat. He is it? Yeah, we got the fit. We got I got some cool kicks on. No, but I wear the hat. Oh, of the hair. Gotcha, got you. Hey, you need those sprouts. The little sprouts on top. <clears throat> All right. Um. Okay, so Spooky's gonna hide. And I will set a two minute timer. I think we're going to have to do exteriors only because it's only me and Penguin. It is sad. Let's do exteriors, no inside buildings, and on the main island. If we find you super fast, maybe we'll switch it up and we'll include interiors, but I think the games get a little long if there's only two people seeking, if you know what I mean. Okay, let me set a two minute timer and then we'll get the road on the show. <clears throat> I 
and you know what I know. Okay. Okay, let's look. Mean Penguin will look up. And then I will set the timer for two minutes. Okay, chat? I will be right back. Raderushkis, okay? I'm just going to go um, test out my restroom real quick. And then uh, we'll go seek Spooky, all right? Oh, Nacho sounds good. I've been eating some crazy food lately, though. I'm trying to eat healthier. The other week, I literally... Well, basically, I made a big batch of chili. Um, Too much chili. So then I... Like, every meal after that, I added chili to it. So I made, like, chili cheese fries with corn dogs on it. Which was actually insanely good. I called it... I call it chili dog fries. Might make it into a video. I think it would be funny. Um, it was actually insanely good. It really is good. Eddie bong legs. You got the emoji. I like that. The chili turned out really good. Now we're seeking. We're seeking. We're geeking for a seeking. Um. Yeah, and then just like other times I would just like air fry something and cover it in chili. Which it was delicious, but I feel like my body needs to recover from chili week. <sighs> Hence the seafood and stuff. I'm trying to eat a little. But you know, we'll be back. We'll go back to chili mode. So if you missed it, we're playing a little hide and go seek. A good cook. I actually am a good cook. I'm gonna make a cooking show and a cookbook and all the above. Everyone will be like, what? He makes food? It'll be epic. But I'm going to do it like in a cool way. I'm going to design everything. Make the shots crazy. Make music. Freaky music for it. It'll be fun. Someone's got it. be a passion project why do i keep asking to go first when i don't know where to go because it's fun to it's fun to hide it's sneaky i don't know where i would hide actually i would just run around in a panic and then probably just find a random bush i'm gonna add to my not something crazy. Uh, well again i don't really know what you have in your fridge I'm trying to think of something that might have that. Do you have any like pickles or jalapeno kind of things? That would be kind of... Or a weird kind of cheese? Could add some um... Shots. Yeah, banana peppers. No, that's not weird. That's good. I think I've done that. What uh, what kind of cheese are you using? You're just gonna put some shredded on it, melty, and get it melty. I like will always be when Love I found me McDonald's. It's <laughs> <coughs> funny, an ungodly amount of cheese. Yeah, you're just shredding it on top and then uh, baking it. <coughs> 
I need some good hide and go seek music. This music is a little too chill for hide and seeking. We are geeking for a seeking. Miso, feta, chat, green, blue. You're putting all that on there? Blue cheese on a uh, matcha. Sure, that would be good though. I could try shredded cheddar in queso. Just have. have all of that but you're not putting all that on it i think based on all those i would probably do queso cheddar what is green blue uh maybe yeah i'd put some mots on there for sure and i mean it blue cheese would be what is green cheese olives yeah olives could be good any sour cream or anything yeah just like hot sauce or anything. back up what is green cheese yeah I'm still wondering what green cheese is as well I yeah I got the blue but the green is where you lost me <laughs> let me think of a green cheese Like, like green eggs and ham cheese. Tortilla cake. Is that the green cheese you're talking about? <sighs> what is the green? Cotija is really good for nacho. Is Cotija queso? Shredded Cotija? Something? Oh. I believe you. I just never heard of green cheese. These with like chives in it or something. I feel like they would discolor. This is good. Yeah, I think those are the ones I would go for. The queso, the cheddar, the mozzarella ones. And any others would be uh, like feta or blue cheese. Like a little sprinkled in could be kind of a sneaky pocket you even try throwing some cream cheese in there be kind of wacky it's little surprise gooey bites are you putting in any kind of protein on there or are we going kind of full cheese mode that sounds pretty good to me though all those cheese banana peppers Wish we could have a shot of your fridge. Let's see what's in there. Wonder what the weirdest thing I put on nacho. Yeah, meat, but I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Just hashtag meat. Fridge kind of empty. Mine was, but today I did. Prop. I bought two. Trying to be healthy for just a week. Sending a picture of my hot sauce. Got a hot sauce shelf? Love that. Getting close to hint. I don't know enough about modern frog though. Yeah, I was kind of doing the same thing, penguin. <laughs> I mean, Frogville hasn't changed that much, but maybe you just haven't. I know stuff because I kind of like a lot of it. Lying around. Spot will not surprise you. Oh, I forgot again. There's just a lot more. That's crazy. I don't forget that I add a lot. Maybe 
I always think Penguin would hide by the Kermit. But never there. Here's Skrellington. What surprise you? Looked here last time. I always picture Frogville as like from Frog HQ to the hospital area. Yeah. I mean, that's the majority of it. I guess you got Old Town over there. <clears throat> Not surprise you. Oh, found ya. Hmm. I were spooky. Where would I be spooking? Oh, I was up. We're just hunting spooky. I feel like it could be up here, but I wonder what that means. Eyes you? Well, I, you missed the raid. We got raided by 69 people. Don't mean to curse. <clears throat> yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy! That was cool though. Love hanging out. So. But no one was mean so far, so that's kind of cool. I like one. Dream is so funny, but it won't let me. Yeah, I think I maybe panicked and was not a joke. But maybe not. Maybe I've never panicked in my entire life. We like panic. How could we have been mean? You're so sweet and nice. You never know. Some people will be looking for trouble. Looking for trouble. But I appreciate that. Funny that you say that I'm sweet and nice. <clears throat> yes, I, I can't help it. I can't help being sweet and nice. Yeah. <laughs> Many people. I thought it was 69. Was there really 90? <clears throat> it was like, Frogville, yeah, I guess Frogville can't help but be cute. Cute town. Uh, doesn't mean we don't have crimes. Now we did give a tour. The tour was sick. This is a map, by the way. Never showed the actual map, so... This is like the main island here that I kind of gave a tour of. It's kind of upside down of what... From where I am right now. Uh, like over here was Mr. Poop's city. Right here is like where the cinema was. This is you. Yeah, so up here is like the suburbs, the north territory. Over here is like the west town, which is. I'm gonna build like a cowboy town over there. East island is like industrial. South is. Yeah. All the sports stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot we're seeking spookies. Don't show it. <laughs> Don't show the map. Yeah, I'll unshow. Don't think about the map. Just did not see. It is not the official map that you see. And yeah, this is the subway station. Oh, freaking. Horse in here. Cassio. Maybe Cassio will help me find. Hey, lead me to Spooky Cassio. 
Yeah, let me think. So it would not surprise us where Spooky is. But I don't know what that means. I'm not talking smack, just speaking truth. It feels evil and twisted deep down. Thank you, Lil. I love I get it. But I am sweet. I'm I am, but I can't help but be sweet. Listen and evil. That's why why they love me. I don't see what he said that was about me. <clears throat> what do you mean? I didn't say anything about it. Can we get one more? One more little hint and then if we can't find then we'll get it up. Oh, ouch, ouch. Cassio, save yourself. Oh my god. Throwing my. Okay. Those things are spiky. What do you feed horses against? Hey, see? Here, eat this. Make you feel better. Oh. <clears throat> eat this. Sorry if it's a little dry. Okay. All right, that worked. I spy with my little eye rainbow. No way. Are you really up there and I just didn't see you? I wonder where Nugget is. Box. Nugget, my rainbow. I really like walk up to you several times. Are you on the rainbow? Maybe you're on it. Sometimes house is that possible to get up there yeah i'm just not parkour you're literally on it and michael is twisted and evil deep down yet i love i said that The Berlin. Yeah. Maybe you can just see it. Maybe you're on the maybe on the mushroom. I've never tried to get on top of a mushroom. I guess you could, right? Ugh. I jump on. I'm not really climbing it. Pretend to climb it. See, there's another rainbow. See, spooky. Is there another rainbow in town? Maybe there's our sneaky. Maybe I'm just not overthinking. There's a pocket of. We might have to. Oh, here's a rainbow. Oh, is there a way on top of that flag? Oh, we might have to give up, huh, penguin? You give up, penguin? Jeez, Raider. He's kind of sore. I refuse to believe Spooky is not at the Kermit. I know. But like, how are we not, is there some part of Kermit that we cannot see?
I feel like I've been, is, it, is there a way in the mouth? Get in the mouth. Oh. Yeah, I can't think of it not being permanent, but maybe it's a big ruse. <clears throat> not surprising, and there is a rainbow. But what would be least less surprising than this? You give up? Yeah, I give up. What the? Okay. <laughs> That's cr Did I not? I like- What? I just stepped over this a hundred times. There's no way you're right here. Did people in the chat see? Did anyone in the chat see? Your fake boyfriend's calling you? Yep. That's crazy. We were both scouring this guy. Well, you earned it. Penguin and I <laughs> maybe aren't the best search team, but we knew well enough that I was here. But that little pocket, I never went in. This wouldn't be allowed under my rule. <laughs> this was planned all along. Four weeks you have searched for me on the Kermit, but I was... I never was there. And then when you finally give up... Yeah, I literally searched Kermit every single time that you hide. You're there. One time you're there, I can't find you even when I look on the Oh, you earned that. Can seek mastermind, I guess. Evil. Mayor is too good at hiding. You need a Gex statue. I guess that hermit is close enough. But not enough tail time. Alright. Penguin's gonna hide and then I'm probably gonna call the stream. It's been a nice juicy two minute well not two minute <laughs> two hour stream. I just get minutes and hours confused. That could be like a cool inside joke though. But we just start referring to hours as minutes. We kinda do. Remember is a piece of gum under my shoe compared to Gex. Yeah, that's could be fighting words. The mayor hit me. I saw it too. Peach. Yeah, I feel like it's probably a law that something about Kermit's gender. We should get some real. We should get the laws sorted out. So just for fun. I'm getting my people to speak with your people, and we will go to war. <laughs> Well, we got we got a clip of it. Or is coming to Frogville? But you live in Frogville, Penguin. Can't even see who said. I hate speech towards Kermit. <laughs> Them's hiding words. All right, hide time. Moving out and making Gexland. Ah, don't move out. We need penguin season. At least wait till after penguin season. Okay, let me set a timer. <laughs> I would gladly, yeah, Gexland would be sick. Okay. Logi not accepted. <laughs> Okay, penguin side. <laughs> okay, timer start. Alright, I'll be right back, Joes. We got two minute timer. 
then we'll we'll seek out um penguin and that'll be the end of the stream it'll be fun and then this weekend we're gonna run up probably a late night or two hopefully we got some uh more vhs that we didn't get to and uh yeah resident evil 4 won't gotta pop in there maybe I think there's a couple things out I wanted to play, but and not to let too many things take over my life. I got enough of those. All right, I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody say beep beep or eep eep. Yeah. Somebody say weep weep. All right. I always find it funny when we get more viewers when I'm off camera. I like that. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're doing a night hunt. We keep it nighttime. That'd be fun. We're looking for penguin. But yeah, maybe I should make it day so that sometimes the birds give it away where the penguin is. But maybe the birds would like penguin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I keep saying what you say right before you say it. Well, probably the same time, but it's just the delay of the stream. Alright, Penguin, if I were penguin, where's the most gex mode spot? That's it, we in Frogville time. I guess it could be a mayor thing. Been mayor before. Nachos in the oven, let's go. Making me want nachos. But the hard part of nachos for me is I'm lactose intolerant. But I still do eat a lot of cheese and <sighs> But you know, I'm just popping lactates left and right. Kind of just the life I've accepted. I have this funny mug with a nose on it. Yeah, we're tating. Um, what kind of, uh... Oh yeah, you forgot meat. Penguin. Penguin would hide. In a very special place. That'd be. I don't know if I've ever found penguin. Hold on, what? What you saying, what? What you saying, what, folk? Lactate. <clears throat> home. I thought you retweeted Foxy had me tweet. I was like, well, no way he likes Foxy. Yeah, I, yeah, I am Foxy. <laughs> yeah, that's my band. True. That's why we were talking about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
but we we sneaky about it. Well, that's cool that you like the band. Appreciate. It. Yeah, I was just did a big. We were talking about the album right before the raid. Funny. <clears throat> that is insane. <laughs> Well, we've had a funny thing that, like, initially most people that play on the server were just people that know me from stuff like that, so it's funny when people, um, you know, kind of pop in and don't know, but then sometimes, it's a so why, yeah. Cool looking. Who are you again? Yeah, I do backup vocals. Now oh, banjo. We don't have any banjos. We have a few songs that are kind of banjo-esque. Weird. <clears throat> yeah, we were just talking about the new album earlier. But no, that's cool that you listen to Foxcat. What um what album do you like? Or like how into them? <laughs> Still talking about it. <clears throat> hmm, penguin. Hey cool. Oh, you found? Sorry, I got distracted. Busy man. This is why I'm not mayor anymore. Keep looking. <laughs> oh, I was like, I passed their graveyard and I was like, I feel like Penguin would hide in there, but I didn't look. I don't know why I had a gut reaction. He's running. <laughs> nice. We found penguin. I like that. I have nosebleed forever. Okay, so you're a you're a real fan then. Pretty epic. That's like kind of a deep cut, I would say. I mean, people like that album, but I feel like that song does love. We're all fake fans. <laughs> Publicly embarrassed. This is my last appearance in Frogville. The penguin is goaded still. <gasps> and you steal my kill. <laughs> this is fake beef, guys. This is fake beef. When is that 1%? That's okay, Elio. Get your nachos. I'm ending the stream anyways. I'm so sorry. Um, I feel like it's more beef between Gex and and um, Kermit than anything else. Where did I get this? You know, I think... It's less about Spooky and Penguin. It's just Penguin is so Gex mode. Spooky is so Kermit mode. Just sometimes the tension gets high with the love of animals. Gex is better than Kermit. I mean... I don't think we could say that. But... <laughs> you, you slandered the mayor. Gave Penguin Season 1. I don't think, I think Kermit is legend. We'll have great opportunities moving forward. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Spooky's back.
Want to get all copies of Gex from a PS1. Yeah, Gabe was telling me that he's trying to go Gex mode. Hermit isn't even my favorite Muppet. Joke's on you. Oh yeah, we gotta go say goodbye to, uh... <laughs> it would be funny to have, like, a poll, a big vote in town for Gex versus, uh... Instead of, like, for Mayor, it would be, like, just general consensus of Gex versus Kermit. Rufus is epic. Roof mid? No, Rufus is epic. Going deep in my Spotify. Make me cry? Hell yeah. Dang, well, I'm glad I... It's funny that you popped in here just by chance. Long legs, that's sick. Rufus. Yeah, thanks for the follow. Definitely hang out if you in the chat. Um. Yeah, let me go to the apartment and then we'll say sayonara, okay, chat? And then, like I said, we'll probably do a late night stream this weekend. I have a few more weird VHS that I bought this week. Um, we watched... Last we watched Duck Identification, which was pretty crazy. And um, we watched a little bit of Dog Training, which was pretty epic. I think we have maybe a Rose one. Puddle Ducks, yeah, is the new term. It's like fiddlesticks, but it's Puddle Ducks. It's I have a duck. And I was thinking we have so many like legendary late night um, VHS. It could be cool to like create a tier list at some point of like all of the most iconic. Probably rat prevention would be at the top. Um, but yeah, I, I'm pretty excited about the VHS stuff. It's fun. I have some random like Korean movies VHS that I've found at weird like Asian markets, but I'm like not sure about their content i'm a little bit like just because i can't translate it i would be a little leery to stream them maybe i'll look into it make sure that would be okay but yeah <laughs> okay let's say goodbye to rufus rufus is probably hungry he likes some raw chicken i wonder what else you rabbit Tends to like the chicken. Okay. There you go, Rufus. Yeah, we all love Gex. We don't have to hate Hermit to love Gex. Okay. Well, hopefully this will all get resolved. But, you know, people can have difference in opinions. <laughs> Penguin is going so hard in the Muppet hate. Taking the Gex slander hard. I wonder what started. I forget what who what was the first thing. Did Spooky actually say anything bad about Gex? I don't think so. But maybe a. Uh... Oh, I guess yeah. I'm losing the chat. <laughs> you ban penguin? It's a new command. <laughs> Let me see, what does that do? What does it do? <laughs> What would happen if I do that? What does that command do, guys? It spawns 3D Kilk? Oh, I forgot about 3D Kilk. Oh, I forgot. Last stream we did 3D Kilk Mobile. The Kilk Mobile is so epic. Ooh, Lova, you should have been here during the raid. That would have been epic. Little kill come up. If you do this, it will be irreparable damage. Okay. <gasps> ah! What did he do? 
The Banhammer has spoken. The Banhammer. Psych. If anyone creates a <laughs> penguin jaw with three A's, they're out. Got his evil twin. Yeah, his evil twin. That was my alt, man. <laughs> Am I supposed to smurf? <laughs> Alright, well, that's the stream. It's a nice, uh, juicy two-hour stream. That's pretty nice. Um, again, I'm always stretching out my goodbyes. Say goodnight to the birds. And, uh, see you guys soon, okay? And yeah, we got a new Fox Academy single coming in the pipe. It's being mastered right now. Probably going to be a couple weeks. And then following that will be the album. Okay, just sneak peek. Gonna be excellent. See you guys on the next time, okay? Don't you cry, okay? Ha ha ha. You guys in the Discord, okay? Bye bye. Bye 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 bye.